Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. And I'm not 100% sure and every time I say this I'm wrong, but I think this is my last sword. Um, this is the sword that I'm probably going to mispronounce terribly, the Tadus Fale, Falale Flom. I usually just call it the, the, the Todd's Fall of Flom. I, I, I don't even remember what, what I said now because now I'm looking at it and trying to read it and it's terrible. Um, I'm sure that it means something fancy like like a flaming death or something. I don't know. Uh, but it is a Zweihanda, which makes it an exceptional level weapon. Um, it has a very interesting graphic. Um, let's see if I can get by the fire here and show you the graphic. Uh, it, it definitely is very pretty. Uh, it has kind of like a scarab on it, like a really cool scarab. It's like half red, and then like the rest of it is like steel colored, and it, uh, it's it's kind of interesting. Um, it has 49 to 91 one-handed damage and 75 to 140 two-handed damage, uh, which is kind of low for a, two, a, uh, a level 46 item. Um, it does have 94 dex and 125 strength requirement, which isn't too terribly bad, but it's still a little high on the dex for a lot of characters. Um, a lot of characters don't tend to build that much dex early on, and 94 is definitely a lot at 46. Um, we have a 10% chance to cast level 6 Fireball on attack, uh, which isn't really going to do very much damage, but it is a nice little AoE effect. Um, basically, it's going to give you... Um, what is it? Uh, it's an extra 43 to 58 AoE damage. Um, so it's going to be basically like a little... Just as soon as it comes out, it's going to hit. It's going to explode. It has a nice little 4-yard radius. Um, and uh, and it's going to hit everything within that 4-yard radius. So at level 46, it might be a nice little bump in damage for like a big group. Because you'll be firing off a bunch of them at a 10% chance. And, uh, and over a certain period of time, it could add up. Uh, we have 160% enhanced damage on this particular item, and that is um, variable between 120 to 160%. Uh, we have 50 to 200 fire damage on this particular item. And uh, the 50 to 200 fire damage is a pretty decent amount for level 46. In fact, um, quite honestly, um, that's actually very nice. Now, um, by the time you hit Nightmare Difficulty Act 4, they're gonna, you're going to run into a lot of fire immunes, and it's going to be a little bit of an issue. But, uh, you know, it does add a pretty decent chunk of, uh, of uh, damage. Uh, we also have Fire Resistance 40%, and then we also have plus 10 Fire Absorption, which actually will absorb your fire damage. So if somebody hits you, say, for 100 damage, it's going to absorb 10 of that, it's going to heal you back for 10, so it's going to be like 20 damage taken right off the top of that 100 which means it's only going to deal 80, uh, which isn't bad. We also got two other effects on here. We got level 10 enchant, uh, which you can actually cast on yourself, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, my attack damage is 419 to 907. My attack rating is 4,566. And when I cast enchant on myself, I go up to 444 to 943, and I get a nice little bump in attack rating to 6,025. Uh, that's because level uh, 10 enchant actually gives you a pretty nice little bonus. Um, it lasts for a pretty long period of time, too, and you can totally use this sword just as an enchant stick. Like, if you didn't even want to use the sword, you could just put it on your offhand, swap to it, cast enchant, and then swap back. Um, at level 10, you get a, a damage bonus of 27 to 39 extra fire damage added onto your attack, uh, 360 second duration, which is pretty long, and a bonus attack rating of 101%, which is the real money for enchant. It gives you that nice attack rating bonus. Um, we also have Firewall, level 10 Firewall on here, uh, which actually could come in handy. Um, it doesn't do like an amazing amount of damage, but like say for instance you're in the middle of a battle, you're fighting, uh, you know, some monsters. Um, you could totally and very easily just simply um, drop a uh, firewall on top of some monsters while you're fighting them. Just throw it down, and and then you know you got your little firewall there, and you're just wailing away. And it will give you a little bit of extra damage. And at level 46, uh, when you put this sword on, the extra fire that uh, you get from the firewall actually could help you kill some stuff. Um, I mean, we've got fireballs that are shooting off, doing an explosive damage. We've got the firewall, which of course could be sitting in front of you, dishing out damage to all the monsters that are standing there, which again is an AoE attack. So we've got two different AoE attacks, and we also have the enchant adding fire damage to our ability. And then we also have the um, 
the uh, added fire damage on the sword itself. So all in all, um, this sword actually does give a pretty huge bonus to fire damage just in general um, in many different forms uh, in the fireball, the firewall, the enchant, and the added fire damage. And it really kind of lives up to its name, and it also gives you an absorption as well. Um, now, this particular sword can be upgraded, so we're actually going to upgrade this. Um, we'll all go over the ethereal item as well. So the ethereal version is 72 to 135 one-handed, uh, two-handed damage of 111 to 210, dex requirement 84, strength 115, and level 46. And it's also important to note that you cannot refill the charges on an ethereal item, so uh, it does make it a much less of a sword because once you take out the charges um, you lose quite a large number of effects um, that the sword is capable of you can no longer use the enchant you can no longer use the firewall and uh, and you can no longer use the socket either because you would have to uh, either zod it um, or maybe you can put it on a two-handed barb merc but um, most people aren't using the two-handed barb mercs these days because the frenzy barb merc is so much more fun uh, so let's upgrade this to the um next version my green screen is showing because Cody smashed into the green screen back there. Cody. Cody. Can you move away from the green screen, sir? You already knocked it over twice. <laughs> he don't care. He's a bully. He's a bully bully. He literally will just bull barrel past people and knock them over. He don't even care. Um, so let's upgrade this to the uh, elite version, shall we? So you need a uh, pole rune, a lum rune, and a perfect emerald, and that's going to take us from 49 to 91 one-handed, 75 to 142 handed, 94 dex, 125 strength, level 46, to the 67 to 182 one-handed, a two-handed of 158 to 314, dex requirement 95, strength requirement 182, colossal sword, with a level requirement of 67. And I also just noticed that it decreased the speed of the sword, so we went from a fast class attack speed to a normal class attack speed. Um, so the Colossus Blade is, or Colossus Sword is slower than the Zweihander. Um, the Ethereal version uh, can also be upgraded uh, from 72 to 135, 111 to 210, uh, two-handed, 84 dexterity, 115 strength, level 46, to 101 one-handed, 101 to 273 one-handed, 236 to 470 two-handed, 85 dex, 172 strength, and level 67. Um, not really sure about that upgrade. It's a little, little odd. I mean, I guess if you were using this later on in the game, it could definitely come in handy to upgrade it, but I feel like there could be better options. Um, the level 10 enchant is nice, but something like Demon Limb has level uh, a much higher level enchant, like, like 21 or something like that. Um, so definitely it would be better to have a Demon Limb. The other issue with using this as an enchant sword is that it has relatively high strength and dex requirements, and it's a two-handed item. So even if you put it in the offhand and used it for enchanting, um, it you can't put a shield on over there. You can't put anything over here. Um, it also, you know, you have to have the strength index to put it on in the first place. So um, it doesn't really function as well as a demon limb does, despite the fact that the demon limb is better uh, in the level. It also um, is better because it's a one-handed item and it just works better for that particular purpose. Um, not really sure what to say about this particular sword. It definitely seems like it can be useful in certain situations, but at the same time, it also seems like um, it's outclassed by some higher swords that maybe do very similar effects. Um, I'm thinking about the uh, Flame Bellow, which is a, um, a higher level unique. Flame Bellow um, has fire effects on it as well, and I think it does them better than this one does, but it's a much higher level sword also. Um, let's take a look over at Silo's Pen real quick, and let's see where we could potentially find this um, if we wanted to get our hands on it, shall we? Bink! Mm. Alright, so here we are over on Silo's Pen, and we're going to look up the Tolds Fala Flomalam Balam Balam. Man, my green screen is all kind of messed up because of Cody. Cody is just rude. 
I can't even get him to get up and get away from the green screen. He's just literally laying on it. Lazily. Lazily laying. I feel like I'm reading a Dr. Seuss book. Cody the lazy dog was lazily laying on the green screen. And he had a big bad, bad, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm messing it up entirely. Um, so if you want to get your hands on a Toad's Fell Flom, uh, looks like Diablo and Nightmare seems to be the best bet at 1 in 822. Um, Helen Dariel's not bad at 1 in 857. Nightmare Mephisto, 1 in 1007. Not really a lot of good choices. Uh, Nightmare Neilthak, 1 in 5,794. Oh, uh, yeah, it's pretty crappy for bosses. Let's take a look at Super Uniques. Ah, uh, Cow King in Hell, which is not a good choice for somebody who's actually trying to use this. Nightmare Neil Thack, we already talked about him. I mean, there's a lot of choices here, but none of them are really low level, where you can actually get, like, it at a time when you actually need it. I mean, Nightmare Pindle Skin would be easy enough to farm. Um... Nightmare Thrush Socket is easy enough to farm, but they're they're in Act 5, and you're not in Act 5. Like, if you're trying to get this sword, you're probably in Act 1 or Act 2. Uh, Storm Tree in Lower Kuros looks like the best bet there at 1 in 9,998. He's actually pretty easy to get to if you take the Lower Kuros waypoint, and you just go straight down to the entrance. He's always at the entrance of Lower Kuros. Uh, very easy to farm, and... Uh, honestly, the lowest level monster we've seen so far that actually has a chance of dropping it. Uh, interesting. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Um, even when we're talking about the fiery, flamey, flamo sword of the uh, of the Toadsfell Flom. And uh, please tell me how I mispronounced it, because uh, you know what? I don't even care on this one. Like, you guys normally make fun of me for mispronouncing words, and I'm like, I'm just saying it how I want to. I'm not even saying this one how I want to. You know why? Because I don't even know how to pronounce this one at all. Like, not even a little bit. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching.